evangelists all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church Prayer Line. And we believe that as you're connected with us, your life will never be the same. Here with us, we are with the people who came here in Charis Missionary Church to be prayed for by the men of God or the women of God here in Charis Missionary Church. And we believe that as the men of God today was teaching us about the resurrection power. And as they will be prayed for today, the resurrection power shall work in their lives today in the name of Jesus. And if you want to see yourself being part or being one of the people who are here to be prayed for, you can call the contacts that are following on your screen. It's 11 I repeat, 11 And if you are out of the country, you can use our code, which is plus 2711-027-7962. Plus 2711-027-7962. Zero two seven seven nine six two, and we will be starting to asking the people how did they be become affected with this and how did it affect their lives. Ma'am, can you please introduce yourself to us? And as we can see that you have written that you have migraine, may you go deeper into telling us how did it affect your life? It's been affecting my life for so long because I supposed to do operation last year November at Pulosho Hospital. So by the grace of God, I've before I do operation, they said my medical aid is finished while uh, they still have money on medical aid. But I couldn't do operation until one day I dreamed mama prayed for me for my headache. Then that's why I decided to come and register for. And you also registered that you are having dimenorrhea. Explain it to us what it is and how did it affect you? Yes, every time when I go to the period, then I have to feel pain. I can't even walk. Yes, so it affected me from 2016. And were you taking any medication? Yes, every time when I go to the period, then I have to go to the doctor, then give me the painkillers. So I'm tired of drinking painkillers. Yes. And today, as you are here, do you believe that God will heal you? I believe today I will be healed forever. Then I will never take any medication again in Jesus' name. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that today, the resurrection power that the man of God was teaching us about, it shall surely change your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Viewers all over the world, as you can see that right now the woman of God is praying for those who are here in Charis Missionary Church. As Miss Lorraine told us that she dreamt the woman of God praying for her for this migraine. We believe that today as the woman of God is praying for her, indeed her healing is permanent in Jesus' name. As we can see the woman of God is casting the demon out. Let's watch and see her deliverance in Jesus' name. I want to kill him. Why? I don't want her to get married. I don't want her to get married. Two, 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 two. Amen. And also, we are with Miss Pinky. He's having, she's having HIV and TB from 2010, and she'll be explaining to us how did it affect. Ma'am, tell us, as you registered this problem, how did it affect you? Let's start with HIV. Um, I didn't have any signs before, since 2010. Uh, right now, I'm developing some TB problems. It's like I'm coughing too much. I'm having, look, like, consequences, like, see? So then I realized that I need help. I need God. That's why I, I come here. Were you taking any medication? No, no medication at all. None from TB, none from HIV, nothing. So what motivated you to come here to be part of the people who are here to be prayed for? I've realized that I have to take part because um, I've always seen miracles happening in this church. I always come here seeing people being healed. So I'm doing this for myself and I want to be healed. I want God to heal me. We give glory to Jesus for our life. We believe that as the woman of God will be praying for you, your life will never be the same. <laughs> 
Yes, all over the world, as the woman of God and the man of God always take their time to teach us that everybody needs deliverance. And as we just saw the deliverance of Miss Lorraine, we believe that she's free and indeed she shall surely come back and tell us that God has done it for her in Jesus' name. Uh, lately, we interviewed Miss Pinky, who told us that she never had any symptoms of HIV from 2010. And we believe her right now. I want to kill her. Why are you she must die. I want to kill her. Why are you praying for her? Why are you want to heal her? Why are you want to heal her? Why are you want to leave her? Why are you want to heal her? Why are you want to heal her? I am not the healer. Jesus is the healer. You are healing her. I can see. You are healing her. Oh, she's I can today. see you. I can she's see you. Today. No, she's no she can't. She can't. She can't. She can't. She can't. Viewers all over the world, as you can see Miss Pinky getting her deliverance. Believe that you too, wherever you are, as you are watching us, you are getting your deliverance too in Jesus' name. <laughs> Ma'am, can you please tell us, uh, you said that you are affected with HIV and high blood. How did they affect you? Still affecting the jam. Literally, HIV is high blood. Now, how did it affect the jam? Move up the long balloon. Kile kalwa lang wao fetra kafe peruari. Heki ya kuspete la baba bantu chori. Banchi ama di baba bariki HIV.